Imagine trying to put five apples in your mouth at once. It's most likely that you'll choke and you'll lose the desire to even chew the apples, right? And that's the cognition I had today about completing multiple tasks. So usually I would just write down a whole list of tasks and then I just wouldn't know where to start and I'll just end up losing the Z step. My name's Kelvin and welcome to my 30 to 60 day monk mode journey where I'm learning how to listen to my mind, lead by my spirit and stay true to my core ethics. Just carrying on what we started with. So just the thing of bunching up quite a lot of tasks and trying to do everything at once, it usually burns you out before you get to even do anything. And uh, something that had a big influence on how I do things this year, specifically in 2024, is a book by James Clear, Atomic Habits. I know it sounds cliche, but once you actually read and you understand the book, it has a major impact because you learn to understand that putting one stone today is gonna equal to a thousand stones tomorrow if it's done consistently. So um, that's another lesson that just came and hit me in the face as I was trying to line up my tasks for the day. And I also guess my second cognition of the day was complaining about things that you can't change or you're not willing to change. So just to further break this down, I'm gonna break it down on two aspects, right? So the first aspect is anything in life. If you complain about something and you don't have an immediate solution or you don't have a solution at all, then it's clearly not worth your time, you know? And this is something that I'm learning how to master every single day that I will complain about something, but if I can find a solution, I need to work on implementing the solution. If I can't implement the solution, I need to just accept and actually just move on away from that problem or yeah, just basically move away from the problem. The second aspect that I want to discuss, which I believe is very important because it's regarding people and we deal with people on an everyday basis. So when I was reading Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, right? There's a part where he says that, um, if you are not willing to help somebody change into a better person or or if you're not willing to wait for them to change in a better person you don't have position to judge them so that means basically it says that if you're not willing to do anything about someone's behavior or help them through their behavior then you need to keep quiet because at that point you become a judgmental person and that actually has quite a lot of impact on my stress levels you understand when you start identifying that listen i can control this listen i can't control this listen i can have influence on that and i don't have influence on that and it just eases down your stress level because then you can go again and focus on what really matters and i mean this this is real for me because for two days three days now we don't have water it's a um, it's a it's a national out well it's not a national outage it's actually hit a couple of areas but usually my reaction would be swearing stressing you know like just really losing my mind but now it's a matter of hey I, I can't do anything about it at this point or what can i do about it and same analogy i i, I hadn't bathed for two days like okay so instead of complaining what is the solution i saw pool water i know there's water there's chlorine but i had a bath and i had to be clean so I just basically went to go get pool water, boiled it up, and then I bought solution, and then now we move on. So um, living a life like that kind of takes away the stress because I also saw that I didn't, I, I didn't take time sitting on the couch saying, yo, you know what, I hate this government, and just like lowering my own frequency. So just the application of that on a situation that affected me was actually a big one for me. And it, it could be something that you can consider on a day-to-day -day because we're not going to be happy on a day-to-day. -day. As Marcus Aureli says in meditations, it's like when you wake up in the morning, it, 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 I'm not going to quote it as is, but you shouldn't be saying, I'm going to have a good morning because you've already uh, programmed your mind to say, hey, the best things are going to happen. I understand that you are manifesting the best things, but when the bad things do happen, they crush you uh, very, very hard. So as long as you know that there may be some glitches you also have an opportunity to put some possible solutions into place just going on with my day just before i got into the water situation i just basically i was able to jump onto the meeting with the boys so jumping onto the meeting with the boys is such a drag guys like i feel like doing something has become so hard i feel like the universe is kind of like set up to make you fail and it's hard for you to do the right thing it's I don't know like every time i have to shoot a video i have to think uh, 10 times i need to be like oh yeah you know it's not every day that you get up and you're like hey i've got diseased let me go and do it so 
um, that procrastination wall, especially during my monk mode, is it, it's really there. So the accomplishments of being able to like set up a meeting with the boys and say, okay, cool, um, the first episode of Calverse is going on on Friday. We discussed and we set up everything. I, basically, everything is set up for Calverse. And for once, it's not a last minute thing and it's not lingering in my mind to um, cause unhappiness. So I also believe that in this day, I'm actually learning how to control the things that cause unnecessary unhappiness. I feel like the level of happiness that we have in our lives can be controlled to a certain extent. Um, nevertheless, today was all about doing and basically implementing all of the teachings that um, I've actually went through. I do believe that it is a good day and I feel like my productivity is getting better because my focus is focused on what needs to be done and what cannot be handled is just put to the side i thank you so much for watching this video i am working um day eight we're gonna have a bonus episode basically create a book review for marcus aurelius so that you can just check it out there's so many lessons that we can read on that and i feel like it's also a brush up time for me in in my monk mode just reading meditations and just reflecting on what's really necessary so that I can still get guidance from people that were here before me and give me more information on what I can observe or look at. Because in all honesty, we never know what to look at until we're told what to look at. It's, it's a crazy way to put it, but if someone doesn't tell you there's a tree outside, you won't look out for a tree. So that's why we need the guidance in these books. So that's what we're doing in, in day eight. Still slowly but surely, we, we are building ourselves, but now we are just branching out to also building something external, something um, a bit more tangible. So that's why this week I've been going on about Calverse. And thank you for joining me on my journey. I hope something that I said today does have an impact on what you do tomorrow.